Once you have a ready model in OpenBell Links Designer, you can print interactive 3D design file geometry directly into a PDF file. It works for 3D DGN file or a 2D sheet model that contains 3D references. It is a perfect option if you want to share your model with someone who doesn't have a design application installed on their machine. Select and adjust the view you want to print. Only the selected view will be exported. To print 3D design geometry to a PDF file, go to File tab, Print, Print to PDF. In Print dialog box, you can see the design preview. Select the Print to 3D option. In Settings, 3D Plotting, you can open the 3D Plotting Options dialog and adjust settings as required. For example, you can modify the display mode or change the background color instead of using the one from the view. When finished, click OK. Select Print to File, confirm the PDF file location and click Save. Once a PDF document containing 3D content is created, it can be opened with Adobe Acrobat or Adobe Reader 7 or later version in the same manner as a standard PDF file. You can rotate, pan and zoom the view and select individual elements. There is a toolbar with a set of tools for navigating within the scene, adjusting lighting, display modes and displaying section views. You can turn on perspective view or switch the display mode to wireframe, for example. There is a 3D measurement tool that allows you to measure distances directly in the model and save the dimensions in separate view. To view the non-graphical business items that can be included in a PDF document, click the model tree to view, search and highlight design components and their associated business items. You can control the display of references and levels. You can select items or switch the display on or off. If there are saved views, they are available in the Views menu entries. That separate dimensions view we created is there and you can always go back to the default preview of the model. We can share such an interactive 3D image with a client or decision maker and they can review it even without advanced BIM application installed. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.